Hello, my name is Martin Bao Anvo and I'm 22 years old. I am from Essefel, Norway and my mission area is my hometown. I've been in this community since 2011. My first activity was the pre-Congress before the Congress in Madrid. Through all these years, I've experienced so many blessings, so many greatness and so many good memories. Through this community, I can really say that I have been molded into a better man of God, but also a God-fearing man. My spiritual journey really started at my confirmation time. Like after my confirmation, I really believed that the Holy Spirit guided me, disturbed me and also moved me and by also controlling my life. After confirmation time, I started to become more active in the church. I went to a lot of different camps. I got introduced to many youth groups, included Wi-Fi. The leaders that were leading these activities in all the different youth groups really inspired me by showing that they put so much effort and so much sacrifice in doing what they are doing. And for me, I came to this point that I say to myself like, wow, this is so inspiring and I really feel God more. I can really see God in them. And I told myself that one day I want to become as great as them, to be a good leader for people around me and to inspire others. That is actually why one of the reasons that I said yes to become an MD. I've been through a lot of things, difficulties, I've been broken. Through all this brokenness, I really found greatness. I really found blessings in all this darkness. And I really believe that without these hardships, I wouldn't realize that my life this is a blessing that is filled with greatness. I also believe that without these leaders, without my brothers and sisters, I wouldn't be here today because I realized that I can't do anything alone. What I'm expecting for myself as an MV is that I will be loving and caring, that I can be a source of love, a source of inspiration, that I can be there for my brothers and sisters that needs the compassion, that needs the love, guiding them, show them that God really lives in us, that God is truly alive. I really want to walk out of my comfort zone and really strive to become better each and every day. And I will go out of my limits and I will walk the extra mile for Him and also for my brothers and sisters. That I will sacrifice myself but also putting people before me. What I really expect is that I can inspire others but also invite evangelize people around me that God is the true meaning of life. How is the theme of this year affecting me or going to affect me as an envy? Honestly, it is telling me that I have to strive for greatness. But what does it really mean? For me, it means that I have to strive for holiness, have God as my role model, but especially that I have to strive to become a saint. But I have to continue to say yes to the Lord despite being insecure and nervous or afraid of the things that I'm going to do. I will continue to say yes because I really believe that God will not fail me because He has never failed me. In order for me to reach the greatness that God has in store for me, I really believe that, first of all, that I need to not live by the world's standards but only God's. Listen to His will, to be open to the Spirit, to let the Spirit lead me, just let go and let God. I really believe that by saying yes to God, I am coming closer to the greatness. So what I really want to challenge myself, but also my brothers and sisters, is that each and every day I will strive for holiness, that everything that we do is in accordance with His will, that your mind will always be Christ-centered, that we will truly strive to become a saint. I know that we are destined for greatness as long as we believe in it and have God in mind in everything we do.